Well, hi, uh, I'm Bishop Hugh, uh, and you are you. Uh, that, that rhymes, doesn't it? And uh, I'm speaking to you because uh, some of you uh, are getting ready uh, to make your first confession this year, uh, uh, and others to make your first Holy Communion. And now it's all been delayed. And uh, the difficult thing is that we don't know how long it'll be delayed. Well, this is sad, uh, but it isn't altogether bad. Well, that's another rhyme, by the way. Uh, and here's something worth remembering. If a good thing's delayed, its beauty doesn't fade. Now, that's the last rhyme. I promise I'll stop there. But if a good thing is delayed, its beauty doesn't fade. And it's a very good thing to come to the sacraments, to meet Jesus in the sacraments, to be forgiven by Jesus in confession, in the sacrament of reconciliation. And it's the best possible thing uh, to receive him in Holy Communion. So don't worry, because he's got all the time in the world uh, and he's waiting for you and you can just keep waiting. He won't go away. He won't become impatient and disappear. He's there. One question uh, might be, what's your favourite food? Uh, is it pizza? Is it uh, chocolate? Is it bananas? Uh, I must admit, I quite like sausages. But uh, imagine that you ate chocolate uh, or I ate sausages all day. Well, it would, it would actually be quite an unpleasant experience. But would you turn into chocolate or would I turn into a sausage? Well, no, because actually the chocolate turns into you and the sausage turns into me. There's more of you when you've had the chocolate or the pizza uh, and there's more of me uh, when I've had the sausage. Well, what's special? Thinking of Holy Communion here, what's special about the food that Jesus gives his body is that it, it works the other way round. And so when we receive his body with love, we become part of him. And we could say there's more of him around now in the world because he is in me and he's the best person that there's ever been and ever will be. And thanks to Holy Communion, we can become, you know, more like, more like him. We can live like him at least a bit and try to treat other people as he treated them and try to live in the relationship with his heavenly father uh, that he had. And so Jesus will be, through Holy Communion, Jesus becomes alive uh, in us. And so he'll become yet more alive through you. So it's a beautiful thing. So I just say that, uh, it's just a wee thought as I say, but keep waiting, keep preparing, keep thinking, keep praying and ask Mary to help you. She knows all about receiving Jesus. And when we can, we will celebrate your first Holy Communion with great joy. If a good thing's delayed, its beauty doesn't fade. Uh, teachers, just a word of thanks to you for continuing to help the children prepare. I wish I could give you uh, a date, but we know what the situation is. I really have no idea. Let's hope sometime in the summer. But when it becomes uh, more likely, then, you know, when, when, we, when we're beginning to see the way forward, then please obviously talk with your local clergy. But thanks for all you're doing uh, for the children at such a difficult time. And parents, uh, a special thanks to you too. I can't imagine <laughs> the challenges having the little dears at home all the time. Uh, but I'm sure you'll know how to keep your children focused and you know what more can a parent do for a child than bring them to Jesus. So God bless you and thank you for doing that.